Let's learn about the trip operon. Remember that operons are going to be ways that prokaryotes are going to regulate gene expression. In other words, operons are going to be ways that bacteria are going to regulate protein synthesis. This helps organisms become more efficient at using their limited resources. The trip operon is going to refer to the operon that makes tryptophan, which is an amino acid. Remember that amino acids are going to make up proteins, so having these amino acids is going to be essential for protein synthesis. Whenever the cell needs tryptophan, RNA polymerase is going to bind to the promoter region and transcribe the genes to make proteins to make tryptophan. So again, when there are low levels of tryptophan, the cell needs to make tryptophan. So RNA polymerase will make proteins that make tryptophan. It's important to note here that the repressor is not bound to the operator during this time. You can see in our illustration, RNA polymerase binding to the promoter and going through transcription. Now these genes will make the mRNA and then eventually the proteins that make tryptophan. This is because the cell needs tryptophan because there are low levels of tryptophan. And you can see the repressor is inactive and not bound to the operator. Whenever the cell has enough tryptophan, the tryptophan is going to bind to the repressor, changing its structure and then eventually changing its function. The repressor then will bind to the operator sequence, which will stop RNA polymerase from transcribing the genes. This is because the cell already has enough tryptophan. It doesn't need to keep on making that tryptophan since it has enough. It wouldn't be a good use of resources and energy if the cell kept on making tryptophan if it already had enough. You can see in our illustration the tryptophan binding to the repressor, which changes its shape and changes its function. The repressor then will bind to the operator sequence, which will stop transcription since it's stopping RNA polymerase from binding to the promoter. This is again because we don't need to keep on making tryptophan since we have enough tryptophan. I like to make the analogy with food when talking about the trip operon. Let's say in your school there are a thousand students who get lunch every day. And for lunch, the cafeteria workers are going to make cheeseburgers. When the cafeteria workers first walk in, there are low levels of cheeseburgers for lunch that day. So they have to start making cheeseburgers for lunch. However, whenever they get to around, let's say, 750 cheeseburgers, they're probably going to stop making cheeseburgers since they have enough food for the lunches that day because not every student's gonna get a cheeseburger and not every student's gonna maybe get lunch. If they just kept on making cheeseburgers and made, let's say 2000 cheeseburgers, a lot of that food is gonna go to waste. So the cafeteria workers wanna make enough food or enough cheeseburgers for the students where they don't have too much or they don't have too little. They have to regulate their gene expression or they have to regulate how much food they produce for lunch.